All right, guys. Um, somebody asked me a rather interesting question I could make a video about. It's what is my motivation? Um, what has been my motivation? Now, obviously, a lot of you are going to say, well, um, negative things happen to him or whatever. You know, that's his motivation or he wants to be the strongest person ever. But I'll tell you truly why I am the way I am in the most general sense. And I'm the way I am because I'm less than most people. And I know a lot of you don't think that. Because obviously a lot of you say such nice things to me. I get people all the time who say nice things to me. Um, but that's the truth. I'm the way I am because I've always been less than most people. And I don't just mean most people. I mean everyone. Uh, I mean, when I was when I was younger, I had some problems in general that just brought me down lower than everyone. Everyone. I mean... I fucked up in school, I fucked up with friends, I fucked up with girls, I fucked up with um, my parents, I fucked up with the law, uh, I fucked up with my looks. Um, basically, I've, I've become this way because I, I believed I was less than everyone. Um, and I lived that way for a very long time. And I got all my my personal satisfaction out of out of lifting. Um, there was no other there was no other source. There wasn't. Um, I didn't have a girlfriend until I was twenty. Didn't kiss a girl until I was twenty. Um, I didn't believe anyone could love me until I was twenty. I didn't really have any friends until I was around twenty. Not. I mean, I had friends, but like <laughs> like summer would come and I'd just never speak to them again. Because, like, I would assume that they didn't want to talk to me. Um, very, very badly fucked up in school. When I, when I was about 11, um, just shit at home fucked with me really bad. And uh, I started uh, getting OS out of school suspension, getting fucked up over and over and over again in school. To the point where the first year in sixth grade, I, I got kicked out probably about 20 times. I just couldn't keep up. I just ended up staying home. I got actually expelled from school altogether two years as well, which really fucked me up. And it, it got to the point where I just, I had no faith in my ability to even do anything in school. I mean, it's, it's not like I was stupider than other people per se, but um, I would act out a lot and um, I would get in fights and stuff. And through whatever means, I, I really fucked up in school. And right around that time frame is whenever I decided, you know, when I was 14, I started lifting. Because obviously, when I was when I was a young kid, I was really fat, ugly fat, and but I was large. I was tall and stuff. I was, I was really weak, but I was large and I was tall. And so the kids I would hang out with were usually older than me, and they could bully me and shit if they wanted. So, just in general... I had nothing. I mean, like, nobody, I looked terrible, I was, no self-esteem, just always felt less than everyone. And so I got all my, my motivation in life from my, from my training. It was the only thing I had, it's the only thing I lived for, it's the only thing that made me happy. It's what protected me from other people, it's what built my self-esteem. I had no faith in anything positive other than my ability to outwork other people in the gym. Um, because that's something I could control. Where somebody else might train this hard, I could train more volume, smarter, heavier, harder. I could want it more, more often. I could eat more. Um, I could gain more weight than them. I was, I knew I was willing to do more than other people from a very young age, and because I believe that, I did. I learned that you can, uh, specifically when you're young and injury free, you can really train your body to recover faster. I mean, if you train high volume and high frequency, you get you recover faster than other people. And so because of that, when I was young, I would train excessive, very, very excessive. And so I, I started getting hurt a lot once I got strong. I, I would bench five days a week. I would train legs three or four days in a row, five, six days in a row, by three days off. I would constantly overtrain and and then super compensate with food and shit like that. Like it was, it was brutal. 
I remember I went a few years, probably, at least like two years, where none of my workouts were under three hours. Uh, I'm talking like 50 sets for legs, shit like that, like tons and tons of volume. And it kind of crippled me. Lived in, I lived in pain a good bit in my hips and knees and, and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah. So that's the truth. I'm this way because I've, I've always been less than other people. Uh, this is just how I overcompensated for it. People are always looking up to me like, oh, you must be so strong-minded. No. Um, not at all. Honestly, it's it's just about lifting for me. It has nothing to do with, with strength of mind. Um, basically, everyone could teach me something about strength of mind. Everyone. Um, that's not what it is at all. It's directly at lifting. That's what I'm good at. That's what I've always had faith in. That's what I've always used to improve who I was. And if you look, look at what I've, if you follow me at all, look at what I've had to go through in order to get where I am. And, and you'll see just exactly how badly I needed to do those things. I mean, you don't go from 200 pounds at 15 to 385 at 18 without taking drugs and shit and training the way I did if you don't have a serious reason to. It wasn't on accident. It was not on accident. I hated it. I hated being that fat. I hated gaining that weight, I hated the way it made me look, I hated the way it made me feel, but I literally, that's what I needed to do to light myself. I needed to go after that goal, and I was too afraid to take drugs at the time. So, fear. It's not fun to live in. Um, so there's, there's your answer, there's my motivation. I've just been super compensating, basically, for lots of fuck-ups. Um, but what I found is, and the truth about it is, is I lived for so long not being content, and for so long having to supercompensate, and for so long with such passion for one thing, that it rubbed off on me. I, I don't have a choice anymore. I'm not happy unless I'm, I'm I'm moving in one direction, straight ahead, basically. I mean, if I'm standing still, I'm I'm not happy. If I'm going backwards, I'm extremely depressed. Um, and that's just who I am now. Uh, as you can see, I've, I've gone through a lot of shit to keep progressing. I mean, I got really lean. Most people would be happy being really lean. I wasn't. I got really big and really strong, still not being fat, wasn't happy. And then I got just recently really fat, really strong, still not happy. Um, basically, I've, I've become addicted to, to living with some sort of purpose. And I got that way through never feeling good enough. Um, and I'll never be able to shake that, probably. I, I'll probably always want that. And, you know what, I wouldn't change anything in the past, because it made me who I am. And I really don't dislike who I am anymore. I mean, probably because of you guys. <laughs> Honestly, you guys have been really, really cool to me. And so it's, it's given me a lot of, um, it's given me a lot of self-esteem, but it's funny, because with all the words you guys give me, it's really just brought me up to, like, normal person standard. Like, I don't walk around being like, I'm the shit. I can do this with weights. It's, it's really just got me to the point where, like, I feel like a normal person, per se. Um, which is kind of funny. If, if you ever talk to someone who spoke to me on like, a, on, like, a level like that, like, they'll tell you the same shit. People always assume I'm going to be, like, an asshole or something. It's, no. <laughs> one of the reasons I, or arrogant or something. One of, one of the reasons I started training when I was a kid is, is because the idea that I could get big and strong enough that people wouldn't bully me and they would just be nice to me. I could be nice back without having to act tough. Like, blew my mind. Like, holy shit. Like, I can just be nice to people. Um, and it's, it's pathetic that that's the truth, but that's the truth. Um, so, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what to add to it. I've always felt like less than other people. I've always super compensated with this. I've become addicted to compensating. I, I know what it feels like to feel like nothing, and I know what it feels like to feel like I'm moving ahead. And one is basically death to me, and, and one is feeling like I'm alive. So nowadays, I can't help it. I, I have to keep moving in one direction ahead. Um, otherwise, I'm very, very unhappy. So, as you can see, the reason I've been happier lately in my videos is because I'm moving ahead. Like, my life is, I'm doing something that I like with my life. Um, whereas that wasn't the case for many years, not not altogether. So, hope that makes some sense to you guys. Um, I'm not trying to talk down about myself. I'm not trying to belittle myself. I'm just telling you guys the truth. 
I'm not looking for compliments. I'm not looking for people to, to tell me I'm really big and inspiring. Thank you. Um, but like, honestly, it's not that way. I'm not, I'm not like some mental giant who, I mean, is someone to look up to. I'm, I'm a fat kid who likes to lift heavy things. It's just what I dedicated myself to. Um, subscribe, guys.